Hey church family and friends, I am in downtown Santa Rosa today and I want to do a little devotional with you on the word hope. Um, hope's getting used quite a bit these days and I just wanted to help you understand it from the Bible's perspective. Um, hope, according to the world, is an optimistic state of mind that's based on an expectation of positive outcomes. Um, Walt Disney said of hope, he said, I only hope that we don't lose sight of one thing, that it was all started by a mouse. And about Cinderella, uh, says with each dawn, she found new hope that someday her dreams of happiness would come true. Uh, so hope is commonly used to mean a wish. Its strength is the strength of the person's desire. But in the Bible, hope is the confident expectation of what God has promised, and its strength is in his faithfulness. So basically the world's hope is based on the world's strength and ability to achieve things while in the Bible our hope is based on God's strength and God's faithfulness to keep his promises. Um, in Psalm chapter 33 verse 16 it says the king is not saved by his great army, a warrior is not delivered by his great strength, the war horse is a false hope for salvation and it, by its great might it cannot rescue. But the eye of the Lord is on those who fear him, on those who hope in his steadfast love. And that word for steadfast, steadfast love is the word hesed. In the Old Testament it means loyalty, mercy, and kindness. And it's the word God uses for his covenant with Israel. Um, in the New Testament we could think of it as um, the word agape, love. God's love, sacrificial love for us. So his favor is towards those whose hope is in his steadfast love that he may deliver their soul from death and keep them alive in famine. Verse 20, our soul waits for the Lord. He is our help and our shield for our heart is glad in him because we trust in his holy name. Let your steadfast love, O Lord, be upon us even as we hope in you. So there's a, a correlation there as we hope in God, the, the psalmist prayer is that God's steadfast love would rest on us. Um, back in May, um, I got a little discouraged because I really thought as things were flattening out, things would start opening up and getting back to normal and uh, things didn't open up. And then things started opening up in July, but then things went back up um, with the COVID. And so, um, they started shutting things down again and so um, I was on a call with uh, some pastors and one of the pastors talked about the Stockdale paradox and I'm not sure if you ever heard of that before but basically the Stockdale paradox is um, from a former uh, naval officer who was shot down during the Vietnam War he served he was eight years he served in a, a POW a prisoner of war camp and so he just survived that camp and a lot of people didn't survive and so he wrote a book about that and uh, the question was asked who didn't make it out and he said oh that's easy he said the optimists the optimists I didn't understand I said now completely confused given what he'd said a hundred meters earlier the optimists oh they were the ones who said we're going to be out by Christmas and Christmas would come and Christmas would go and then they'd say, we're going to be out by Easter, and Easter would come, and Easter would go, and then Thanksgiving, and then it would be Christmas again, and they died of a broken heart. And I'm just an eternal optimist. I just always feel like the glass is half full. And um, so I was really just optimistic that things would change in May, and then things would change in July, <laughs> and then I was hoping school would go back. And, and so this uh, Stockdale paradox, uh, the paradox is that um, on one hand, we have to have persistent faith. This man had persistent faith, he'd make it through the prison of war camp. But also, the other side of that is to confront the brutal reality of where he was living and what he was dealing with every day. And so it's something for us to consider um, in the times we're living in. I'm not sure if this guy was a Christian or not, but we know that our hope is in the living God and our hope is in his loyalty and in his mercy and his kindness toward us. 
um, but also we, we have hope in the second coming of Christ, that Christ is coming again. And so this has just been helpful for me as I've been kind of wrestling through these times and um, just really encouraging me to put my hope in the right place, that uh, my hope can't be in science, my hope isn't in the government, uh, my hope isn't in even my own abilities, but my hope needs to be in the Lord. Our hope needs to be in the Lord and in the strength of His might uh, to fulfill His promises. And God's doing some awesome things right now. Uh, and just seeing people uh, being awakened to the glories of God and wanting to learn more about God and the gospel and what Christ has done for us. So hopefully that's helpful, church, as you're uh, working through this. Um, just to remember that Stockdale paradi paradox, uh, that this could be a long deal, but it's, it's not about that. It's about having our hope in God and what God's doing in and around us. All right, love you. We'll see you soon.